Welcome back. My name is Kaz, and this is Let's Play Let's Play Sonic 2006-2012. I'm going to hit the play button on the video linked in the description of this video. This is a companion piece to Let's Play Sonic 2006, Episode 10, Taking the Midnight Train Going Anywhere, Part 1. 3, 2, 1, play. And just when I had hope that the 20-minute episode was about the right length, like the last one, that was in uh, that was a tolerable length, and I think I could get through that many videos. That you know, we still have 37 videos to go. And I thought that it might be okay, like we might be getting somewhere. But uh, if they're all going to be this length, I, I'm looking forward to a lot more failure. You could be blowing up parts of it to leave it behind so that you can't get him. Kind of like in Quantum of Solace. No. Um, A Scanner Darkly. No, that's not the James Bond movie either. What the hell is it called? On Her Majesty's Secret Service. No, that's not it. Oh, um... um Skyfail. Yeah. It's actually amusing. Yeah, that's a that's like a S Super Mario Brothers thing. Yeah, I'm with Medibot on this one. That was perfectly fine. And that's also an interesting idea for a, a like an overworld into level concept. Like you, you, um, you cannot enter the level unless you 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 solve a puzzle that uses the technique that you're going to employ in the level itself. That's you know it's a, it's a way of uh, kind of soft proofing your game against um, against sequence breaking, that kind of thing. Where if you you know you sequence break to get into a place, all you've accomplished is denuding yourself of the very thing that you need in order to complete the level. Of course, this is a real, real ham-fisted way of doing it. If you want a, a good example of that, go play Super Metroid. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to make a Super Metroid Let's Play at some point. I mean, it's been done to death, I'm sure, and there are lots of people who are better at it than I am, but I'm pretty sure that I have something to add in my own affection for the game. You've altered the timeline. Snake, that didn't happen. Snake! Okay, elves are different. I'm glad I watched this and, and learned that fact. That's, that's very important for life, I think. Wait, I thought they saved right before then. What's the deal? Now take a left. No. Oh god, no. Oh, 
Oh, no, oh, okay, that's that's actually the right way. It shows me. So now they're playing Mahjong in addition to playing Sonic 2006. I don't know. Nobel's a pretty cool guy. Has a prize, invented dynamite. You lose, sucker. Oh, there we go. I know the parking deck that he was going to. It's all in my head. I do miss the time when my head used to be more full of things. It has been denuded. Uh, fun fact: In the the place where this uh, this recording happened, there's a nearby cafeteria that occasionally would sell General Sos, but they didn't call it that. They called it General Kaz's. He'd better hurry. What does it mean? This is actually kind of neat. Oh, so that we can actually watch a train wreck going in slow motion, like I had been talking about before. Making the visual metaphor for the g very game we're playing complete. The game contains its own visual metaphor for itself. Oh. Okay, where are you now? No, that was the way onward. You missed something. <laughs> I 
That's the Pokey Captain I remember. Do you know that for a fact? Oh man, we might actually be making progress here. That's pretty close. Legitimate tension. I'm usually confused. That needs to come back, too. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. <laughs> Gotta speed up, buddy. Come on. <laughs> ah, and it becomes brilliant again. <laughs> This is the moment. My brain has finally melted. That is great. <laughs> oh, man. That's so brilliant. At least by now he knows the way to get to the radical train. <laughs> that was a cute little moment. Man, they keep going on about that. I guess they really liked Marvel vs. Capcom 2 at this point. I don't remember that, though. None of them really played it. I mean, Medibot played it out of a sense of duty. Uh, Renleve was the... I'm sorry, Mio Bison was the um, the fighting game guy, so he must have played that at some point. I don't think he actually liked or likes the game, but he certainly played it. <laughs> the guy from Final Fantasy who's awesome. Oron. Yeah, okay. That's the era that we come from. Yeah, freeze pop. Although I should clarify, Kung Fu Jesus was singing that not because he likes freeze pop at all, which I don't know. I, mean, I I rather like Freeze Pop. They're they're pretty good. But um, there was a track in I think it just no not Track Mania. What is that thing called? It might have been Track Mania. Come to think of it. Um, well, I I forget. And anyway, it's it's like a proto Guitar Hero thing where you have a bunch of tracks and you have three buttons and you have to switch between them and stuff. But anyway, there's a. Um, one of the tracks in that game was uh, was Super Sprood by Freeze Pop, and 
it's a rather good one, both for the game and in general. So we we ended up hearing a lot of it because he he rather liked that game. He he liked rhythm games too. Um, he played that and played Guitar Hero. You know, it'll come back to me. Whatever the hell that uh, that game I'm thinking of is, or someone in the comments will point it out and they'll be like, "Oh, the, the game Kaz is talking about is this," and then that'll clarify all that. But anyway, that's where the freeze pop reference comes from. He's still not going to ring the bell, is he? Shame. <laughs> See how more smoothly everything goes when he actually knows where to go and what to do? This isn't to say that y we can forgive the game for, for being this way. It's just... It would be a lot better not done live with all these tragic failures and time spent redoing the same thing again and again. Oh, it was a mock speed zone, wasn't it? It kind of it was disguised like another kind of run, though. That was the thing. That was sneaky. Off you go into the distance. Oh, he finally figured out how to move left and right. Almost. So close. Alright. Actually doing alright this time. Nope. Oh, actually... Uh oh. <laughs> Man, can can we just like cut the whole LP down to just these parts? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, this is beautiful. This is like watching Super Meat Boy actually. This same thing happened again. That's what we need to do. We will do an entire. We'll do a, a playthrough of Super Meat Boy and just have um, Pokey Captain do that. And yep, 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 yep. We'll stream it. It'll be brilliant because that's what I said before was the actual legit format for something like this. Oh no, he's getting better. Then again. <laughs> Get into the station. He's yelled and now he's hungry. I have an idea for you. Don't play Sonic 2006. Well, you could laugh or sneeze.
Ah, uh, and that's why he chose to continue on. All right, we're at minute five million of Let's Play Sonic 2006. I guess I just realized that in addition to a skybox, this level has a ground box. Well, it's just a word. We reuse lots of words. Imagine the 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 contrary that uh, you were not allowed to reuse words. You got that word only once in your entire life. No, he doesn't actually. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, is that game lag? I think it might be. Man, I should go get hummus and triscuits. That would be good. That would be even better than doing this. Alright, now for the brilliant part. Man, couldn't even wait to be excellent. I love it. No, you're gonna have to steer. Oh no, you're gonna have to steer, buddy. No, you've ruined yourself without even really realizing why or how. Oh yes. <laughs> So doing Super Meat Boy, I will, I will somehow mentalate to them to convince them of that. That was rather good. <laughs> oh, I love it.
typical hemlock poison? Typical of whom? The ancient Greeks? Are we murdering Socrates here? I would have said classical hemlock instead of typical, really. Good thing you hit the checkpoint right before dying. Dying to get checkpoints. Although, that would be an interesting conceit for a platformer. Like, sure, oh yeah, you can have a checkpoint. You have to, you know, make a suicidal jump to do it. And it's going to cost you. Sort of a, you know, cost-benefit kind of thing. You have to earn your reward. Then again, that engenders the idea of lives. Like it on, it's only really a cost if you have a cost in lives associated with it. So. What does that have to do with pressure-sensitive conveyor belt? Wasn't there a bounce bubble in um, in other Sonic games? I'm sure there was. Pretty good illusion, though, all things considered. <laughs> Just in case you're uh, on the internet and you have not seen the YouTube poop of Dr. Um, Dr. Eggman's chicken, or I forget what it's called exactly, but... It, uh, it will give you context for all of what they're saying about the train hitting the side track and all that. I mean, aside from the literal, literal interpretation, which is, re which is recounting the events that just transpired for them. <coughs> for instance, that.
I think they later decided that the Iblis trigger was some kind of energy drink mixed with vodka and set on fire. No, you have to hand it back to Pokey Captain, the guy who's had like practice at it, and can play the game and fail in fun and interesting ways rather than kind of crappy ways. No, don't. No, shut up with that. I hate that shit. I couldn't stand when he ever did that. So even here, as a kind of as a sarcastic reminder of what he's done in the past, it rankles. It's like it's taking a cheese grater to my skin. I'm being zested. Wait, why would they have dice? They weren't the kind to just keep dice around. So there might have been some Dungeons and Dragons going on even bef either before or after this. Matter of fact, I think I remember why. Hmm. This bodes well. Now what we're we're I, th it's a given that he's going to fail, but what I need to know is if he gets super angry, either before, during, or after failing. I mean, before failing, that doesn't that wouldn't make any sense. So that that's pretty much taken care of. Now we can see the during. Try to be a moron, you idiot. Matter of fact, it's super dangerous. You did a homing attack, and he died. Again, is that game lag? Right. Well, you got a checkpoint. It's all right, buddy. 
You can do it. That's the dangerous approach. Just why aren't you slide tackling the boxes, man? See, even failing, he's enjoying himself. That's what. That's what's so suspicious about this. He doesn't feel the the intense pressure to do well that he has nowadays. No matter what it is, even if it's unreasonable to ins to expect himself to succeed or do well, he he still has that. Maybe the game's more forgiving than they give it credit for. <laughs> oh, he actually got it. All right. because of that initial jump kind of ruined your uh, angle. <laughs> Off you go into the distance. He got a, he got pretty close. That was uh Well, you don't sound depressed or angry. Ganon? He's going to steal a piece of the Triforce and then use it to make a world of darkness. Yeah, maybe because you're terrible. How about that? Makes a good boat anchor great with kids. Is it taking longer to load than before? No, it probably. Well, that's their first attempt at uh, the Radical Train. They're going to give it a little pause here and uh, come back with the second one. And so will I.